Hey, what's up guys, Lukey Pookie here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Soldier Secondary, the Righteous Bison, and why I think it severely deserves a buff. The Righteous Bison is considered to be an energy weapon as part of the Dr. Groid Bort Soldier Pack. The pack additionally includes the Cow Mangler 5000 as the primary and a couple of neat cosmetics. Energy weapons are loosely defined in the wiki and can be inconsistent with one another, although the Engie's Pomps and 6000, the Cow Mangler 5000, and the Righteous Bison all share the attribute of unlimited ammo and the penalty of 20% damage against buildings. All three of these weapons additionally have a special little ammo bar that displays the ammo in your clip. I must say that, in my opinion, the Righteous Bison is perhaps the weakest of the energy weapons, and I'll be getting into why shortly. But first, let's go over this weapon's strange history. Today's Righteous Bison is much weaker than the original Righteous Bison that made its debut back in 2011. Although it replaces the shotgun, its stats have very little resemblance. The trademark difference between the stock shotgun and the Righteous Bison is similar to the trademark difference between the stock shotgun and the Pyro's Flare Gun. The Righteous Bison is projectile based rather than firing hitscan shotgun shells. For some strange reason, its stats neglect to mention a very substantial penalty. It only has a clip size of 4 shots rather than 6 like the shotgun. Additionally, its stats neglect to mention its damage attributes, which also differ greatly from the shotgun. The shotgun fires 10 different pellets that do 3 to 9 damage based on range, with a base damage of 6 per pellet. This translates to 3 to 90 damage based on range, with a base damage of 60. As you'd expect with any shotgun, the stock shotgun is designed for close to close medium range, and for soldier, it's often used to finish off wounded enemies after running out of rockets. The Righteous Bison's projectile does 24 to 54 damage depending on range, with a base damage of only 45. I guess the main point of the weapon is long range combat, since it does a minimum of 24 damage long range while the shotgun does a minimum of only 3, and in exchange, the thing does less damage in close range. Keep in mind the maximum ramp up damage point blank is only 54, while the shotgun can do up to 90. So, the Righteous Bison seems to be designed for longer range, but you must remember that it isn't hitscan like the shotgun. Its projectiles move 30% slower than rockets from the rocket launcher, which is incredibly slow. In fact, according to the TF2 wiki, it's the slowest projectile in the game. This makes it very challenging to shoot strafing enemies, especially in close range combat. It's also not ideal for longer range, since an enemy can see the thing flying through the sky super slowly. It's nothing like the flare gun speed. Originally, the Righteous Bison projectiles traveled at the speed of rockets, which made it a little bit of a challenge to predict enemy movement. Imagine, for instance, if the direct hit projectiles moved at the same speed of the Sock rocket launcher. Back then, the speed was a little bit of a nuisance, but now it's just complete garbage. Also, before the nerf, the Righteous Bison had the potential to do more damage than it can now, since its projectiles used to be capable of stacking damage onto an enemy. Basically, if you shot an enemy moving away from you, your projectile could continue to stay in inside their body and stack damage on them. The Righteous Bison also used to be able to penetrate several opponents and put out the same damage to them all, but now the projectile does 25% less damage for every enemy it hits until it eventually does no damage and disappears. When they did this huge nerf, they essentially changed the damage output from 14 to 80 damage depending on how much damage was stacked on someone, to a more consistent 24 to 54 damage. This change could have absolutely destroyed this thing single-handedly had they not also slowed the projectile speed down 30% in addition. It sparked a lot of anger not only because these changes were super unnecessary and brutal, but because the patch note also called the damage stacking thing an unintended glitch. This was ridiculous because one of the built-in loading screen tips in the game explained how the Righteous Bison stacked damage, hinting it was clearly something intended, not just a glitch. So real quick, let's get this straight. The shotgun is hitscan, doing damage instantly upon clicking someone, with the capability of doing up to 90 damage point blank. It also has a clip size of 6 shots. The Righteous Bison, on the other hand, fires a ridiculously slow projectile that's challenging to hit people with, does only up to 54 damage at close range, and has a clip size of only 4 shots. Sure, the Righteous Bison can do more damage long range, but that's if you're actually able to hit people with the snail projectile, and even still, it'll only do around 24 damage plus 25% less damage for each enemy the projectile hits. It is clear as day, in my opinion at least, that the Righteous Bison is a straight downgrade from the stock shotgun. I have no idea how Valve thought these stats were okay for it, and I also have no idea why they decided to even nerf the thing so brutally in the first place. I thought the thing was absolutely fine before the nerf. 
Another thing I'd like to do in this video is compare the Righteous Bison to its engineer counterpart, the Pomsen 6000. Now, let's get this straight. The Righteous Bison and the Pomsen 6000 both replace the same exact weapon in Team Fortress 2, the stock shotgun, but for two different classes, Soldier and Engineer. What really confuses me though is how the Pomsen 6000 is so much goddamn better in every single regard. We're talking damage, projectile speed, bonus attributes, the thing straight up outclasses the Righteous Bison in every single regard but one. The Pomsen 6000 cannot penetrate through multiple players, although this is outweighed by all of its other strengths. When the Righteous Bison was changed, the Pompson 6000 stats were changed additionally. The Highlander community wanted the Pompson nerfed since the Uber Drain mechanic was stupid for the meta and spamming it at chokes from the far put out annoying damage. In the patch, Valve nerfed its long range damage to 32 from 42, while buffing its maximum damage to 72 from 62 for some sort of compensation, and additionally they fixed an exploit where you could make your projectiles invisible if you fired them through a building. So although it doesn't do quite as much devastation at long range now, the Uber Drain mechanic still exists and it therefore remains banned by UGC. So right off the bat, the Pompson 6000 does 32 to 72 damage, while the Righteous Bison only does 24 to 54. Why? And that's only the beginning. The Pompson's projectiles move way faster, and it's got the bonus attributes of Ubercharge Drain and Cloak Drain. I don't understand why Valve would make the Pompson 6000 so much better than the Righteous Bison when they both replace the Stock Shotgun. Sure, the NG's shotgun is his primary, but the stock shotgun has the same exact stats for the engineer as it does for the soldier. It's not more powerful for one or the other. In my opinion, the Righteous Bison should be buffed to do similar damage to the Pompson 6000, and it should also be given the same projectile speed. I think that if they were to do this, the enemy penetration would not be overpowered, assuming they would keep the less damage per enemy penetrated stat. Whether you're with me and agree that the Righteous Bison should be as powerful as the Palms in 6000, or you think that the weapons should remain different for a sense of uniqueness, there's absolutely no denying that the Righteous Bison needs to be changed. In its current state, the thing is a complete downgrade from the shotgun, acting as a mediocre at best long range weapon for taking out weak clusters of enemies, something the rocket launcher is better for. The thing absolutely needs a projectile speed buff, and it's between buffing its damage to mimic the Pompson or giving it something new and interesting because the thing is severely underpowered right now. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below what you think about the Righteous Bison, and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more TF2 content like this. If you're interested in more soldier content, I just did a video on the original and the escape plan, links to those videos will be in the outro. Also for those of you who regularly watch my videos, I'm going to start tweeting more probably about, you know, things like video progress, possibly polls of some kind, or even just unfunny memes. So if you're interested in that, link to my Twitter is in the description as always. I don't recall ever really plugging it, which is probably why I have 7,000 subscribers and less than 30 Twitter followers right now. <laughs> But with that being said, big thank you to those of you who have subbed to me recently, and those who have stuck around for the ride, and I apologize for the gross lack of videos recently. I had some life shit get in the way, but I'm aiming to upload once or twice a week again like before. Thank you guys so much for your patience. Have an awesome rest of your day or night, and peace out.